Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham Rachahakurash. Double honors to the apostles, the elders at Great Millstone. Well, peace and salutation as always goes to the elect. And uh, I wanted to speak on this uh, scripture here uh, in the book of Sirach 1 and 21. As you can see, it says, the fear of the Lord, which uh, according to the Holy Scriptures, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And why is that important? All right. Just think about the leadership of this world and um, how they rule the world. They don't rule the world through the fear of the Lord. All right. So what is forwarded? Wickedness, you know, uh, forward behavior, you know, uh, you know, pride. You know, which are behaviors that eventually lead to uh, judgment. See, that's why the scriptures, when you uh, get the Holy Scriptures, the uh, prophecies always call out Esau as being the most proud. All right. The, the, the pride of thine heart have deceived thee. I am against thee, most proud. See. And as the scriptures say, as the ruler is, so are the people. Okay, so people are dwelling without care. And the uh, prophecy describes America in Jeremiah, I believe the 49th chapter, as the wealthy nation that dwelleth without care. Meaning, you know, ultimately they don't, they're, they're, they're proud. You know, they believe in their own, their, their own BS. Am I right? Which is a behavior that you Israelites, okay, a culture, a, a way that you Israelites have taken on, all right, to your destruction, okay? Meaning you live your life, but the fear of the Lord has nothing to do with your decision-making, your culture. So therefore, what forwards itself? Pride, okay, wickedness, Sin, iniquity, which iniquity is sin. And the scriptures talks about how uh, our people add sin unto sin. I mean, you just got to think about the fact that you fear the Lord. Therefore, you know, you know, and it's true. Therefore, you think before you do. Okay. Meaning you're living your life now guided by the fear of the Lord. So what does it do? It, it turneth away wrath. Okay, it puts you in a better position. You're not reacting based upon the flesh. Now, the uh, the emotion of what comes with the flesh will always be there. Okay, emotions are normal. Emotions towards things are natural, right? But if the way that you react to that emotion is not guided with wisdom or fear of the Lord, which is the beginning of wisdom, what does that do? That puts you in a position where wrath will eventually come your way. And that's how our people live their lives. They live their lives without the fear of the Lord. We cannot forget that the Holy Scriptures tells us the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Okay, now the Most High is supposed to be the husband to the nation of Israel. Now, when you look up the word fear, in the Greek, okay, if somebody can, you can post it, it deals with a phobia or, but uh, one of the words for it is a woman, okay, it's, it's, it may be the word fear or it's something around a word dealing with fear in the Greek, um, it deals with uh, a woman in fear of her husband, now, it's not that the woman fears the husband because he's every day she comes home, he's beating her ass, spitting on her, pulling guns on her, you know, whooping her with belts, you know, put, put, pulling out, go get the switch. All right, you, you know, go, going to get the switch. Nah, that's not the, the type of the fear of the Lord that we're talking about. Now, what the scriptures say that uh, Sarah called uh, Abraham Lord, I believe, right? So the most high, okay, through Yahweh Shai is our Lord, right? So that being, 
the way that we fear him is understanding what he likes, what he wants, what he dislikes, behavior he's against. Okay? So as the wife of the Heavenly Father, the nation of Israel, coming back into, in, into obedience, what do we do? We, as that faithful wife, we're not out playing a whore in our harlot anymore. We're not reacting and living our lives based upon the uh, philosophies of this world, the gods of this world, what we grew up understanding and knowing as the way to react, being rash, be, you know, reacting to your emotions in a way, all right, that's not balanced, that, that can lead to your detriment. We react to things according to the way and vibe we know our husband, okay? As the Heavenly Father, as we're the wife, the bride, once, all right, even women, you know, ancient women, you know, because they talk about this modern women, right? You know, you have the, uh, the, 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 the modern women, and then you have the ancient women. One thing about the women of old, they always gauged the mood of their spouse, their husband. As the head, they always gauged what spirit he was in, and then they would react accordingly. All right, to add or or order or, or to ultimately be remain silent in whatever situation it may be. Now we know that the Heavenly Father is angry. Right? You know your father's angry, right? And there's particular behaviors that's going on within this world that we know judgment is coming for uh for what does that do? That makes you operate with wisdom with fear which keeps you out of what let's read it again the fear of the lord driveth away sins so when you fear the lord which fear the lord is the beginning of wisdom somebody post that it's various scriptures that said that i believe the fear of the lord is the beginning of wisdom right so you're moving in a way that driveth away sins not adds sin upon sin which is all of the cultures of this world, following after the way of Esau, Edom, being proud, not thinking that you'll ever pay. You have to operate with the understanding that what you do comes back to you. So as the remnant, we've come to the understanding that, wait a minute, you know what? Our fathers have constantly failed. Our fathers have constantly rebelled, played the harlot, followed the serpent, followed the heathen, didn't follow the Lord, and look where it's always led us. So you know what? Let's try doing what our husband, okay, what our father said to do, because wisdom is is all moving. The wisdom wisdom can be linked to a relationship between a man and a woman. Wisdom can be likened to a son and a father. Wisdom can be likened to a brother and a sister. Wisdom can be likened to water. Wisdom is 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 in all things. Okay, so just because wisdom is likened to a woman <laughs> does not mean that there's a feminine prayer, the most high is half man, half woman. No, it's just that with all of the creation or the, you know, the relationships he's created between species, human beings, it's all according to wisdom. So you could always take of any of these uh, 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 carnal, you know, uh, uh, representations of how wisdom manifests itself and liken them unto the most high, his wisdom. Anyway, the fear of the Lord is where it's at, man. And as you see, Jake, you know, they, they're not moving and operating with the fear of the Lord. And they're pushing us as a culture amongst a lot of people in Israel. Okay? They're, they're, they're telling you, all right, to ultimately undermine the Messiah. Dangerous behavior. They're mocking Melchizedek. Dangerous behavior. And they're telling you, you don't have to have an intercessor. So there's no lawyer pleading your cause as you're in this filthy, decrepit state here in Babylon the Great where you cannot keep the laws perfectly. First of all, you're not sovereign. You cannot keep the laws, statutes, and commandments of the Heavenly Father perfectly without being sovereign. What does sovereign mean? Your word, your rule is the rule. There's no other rule. Okay? Your government, what, 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 what issues for your government rules the, 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 the known world or the world right so you're not sovereign you can't keep the law perfectly so you need mercy 
but you got niggas clinging and gravitating towards uh, 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 towards doctrines that mock that. So you're not operating with the fear of the Lord. Therefore, only wickedness can come unto you. But it's not that those who are in the spirit that the Lord loves don't go through chastening. We all go through our chastening. But there's a lot of judgment coming to you niggas because of the way you're living. You can't bring black culture and, and, and rashness and pervert into this into this thing of ours. This is a beautiful, elegant feast. Okay? We got we got musicians actually playing. You don't have a there's not a beat machine. No, no, no. The person is actually playing the drum. The person is actually playing the violin. The person is actually doing the bongo. The bass. Okay? It's elegant. It's, it's, it's authentic. So you can't bring this world into this beautiful feast. Right? The, 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 the black culture, all of this stuff that we've learned, this, these ways, that ain't the way to go. There's a whole new way and a new order from the Most High through what? Melchizedek that we're, we're, we're fighting to get into. Okay? So the fear of the Lord is where it's at. When you don't fear the Lord, you, you ultimately, you're, you're setting yourself up for, for, for judgment. And it takes what being meek, being humble, which this world has. This world never taught us that. So to come to a, a, a place where we're we're being told about ourselves, we're having to change. We're having to acknowledge that we're wrong. Yeah, it's a lot, but it's needful. It's needful that you you learn you understand that the, the lack of the fear of the Lord is why you're in hell right now. So. Let's, let's try something else. That's what the remnant is going to do. But the, the rest of these niggas, their, their mindset, you know, I mean, you, you sometimes you're even taken back by how wicked Jake is, how proud Jake is. You see? But at the end of the day, it's just a, a joyful thing that the Lord has awakened a remnant, you know, that are going to take things into the consideration that are going to remember themselves they're gonna you know be you know turn return from that stiff neck that proud way man the stuff niggas are saying it's just like whoa you know so the fear of the lord driveth away sins and where it is present it turneth away wrath who wants wrath okay when you're a proud nigga lacking the fear of the lord ultimately wrath is the only thing that awaits you that's the next Okay, that's the next big thing, wrath. That's the only thing that's going to follow is wrath. Right? So, that's all I wanted to say, man. You know, hopefully I'll edify. You know, the fear of the Lord is where it's at, man. Okay, the moves you make, you know, you know the, the, the things you do, always consider. Because you could, you could be in your flesh, and about to make a decision that's based upon the flesh and based upon the emotion of things. But then the decision you make cannot be in the spirit. Right? So then what? You operating in the flesh. What does the scripture say? The, 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 the spirit and the flesh are contrary to one another. You want to walk in the spirit. You see, fat, when, see when you fast... You're not eating or drinking. Angels don't eat or drink. You become in a more angelic, all right, in tune like state. But it takes sacrifice. And that's what it's all about. Sacrifice. Okay? Sacrifice is where it's at. Okay? When you, when you, when you put off the flesh and ultimately operate in a way that will be better for you spiritually, you see that spirit, you know, what will, will, will forward you in a spiritual walk, not in a in a in a in a, in a short term, you know, uh, uh, you know, fleshly pleasures and all, all. Yeah, whatever. We've already we've already did that. We've already lived those lives. So now it's time to show Yahweh Bashmiel Shai that you fear by what your behavior, by the things that are coming out of your mouth, your 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 conversation. Who you are, how you 
have changed because you didn't receive this wisdom and all of this understanding to just be, remain the same nigga. Some people come into the understanding that the Israelites, but they never change into anything different. They still operate as the same that they operated four years ago, even worse. But you, I put, I, I don't eat swine no more. And your big ass is all on uh, uh, Instagram. All right. Your big ass all on Instagram showing your fringes and and and, and the, the, the cockroach and the shrimp is in the same family. But you never change. You never change, man. Thanksgiving come. You're cursing out Thanksgiving. Right? <laughs> you're cursing out Christmas all on Instagram. But then you never change. You don't operate with the fear of the Lord. You're rash. You're disrespectful. You have no respect for what you've come into, how this truth ultimately has spread throughout the four corners of the earth, who was at the forefront of, of, of the great awakening as it spread on YouTube. You don't care about those things. You just know you Israelite. You gave up pork and read about the slaves coming on slave ships in Deuteronomy 28, 68, and that was enough for you. But you the same Jerry Curl, number 37 at, on the barbershop picture, ass nigga. Right? A complete clown, man. And the Heavenly Father is not coming to deliver a, a nation of low-level thinking, wicked, played-out niggas. No. Hell no. So if you crying for the two-thirds in 2021, going into 2022 at the time of judgment, you better repent, nigga. You better repent. Because the Heavenly Father is coming to deliver his elect. Because why? They're moving in the operation of the fear of the Lord, man. They're considering their ways. Anyway, may Yahweh Bashim Yahshua bless the elect. Death to the two-thirds. If you got a problem with that, then you can go, 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 go be a sacrifice for them. All right? Since Yahweh Shai's sacrifice ain't covering them on this side. Okay, when he returns, why don't you be a sacrifice for them niggas? As they walk and proudly and disrespectfully towards uh, the Most High in his order. The Most High set up order. The Most High ain't just sitting up there. No, any king sets up order. Right? <laughs> Come on, man. But anyway, you niggas, man, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Bless his elect. Cover the brothers and sisters and their children, man. But for a nigga who, an uh, unrepentant weirdo in 2021 going into 2022, man, death and destruction unto you. It's time to get the hell up out of here. I want to enjoy the earth, man. I want Yahweh Shah to reign. I want righteousness here. Anybody who's who's uh, contrary to what the, the, the prophecies say need to happen, hey, man, bye. <laughs> 